I think I cracked the code, folks. I think I finally figured out how to get the cleanest cut as low as possible with a rotary mower. Yeah, that's right, a rotary mower, not a real mower. And I'm talking about an inexpensive rotary mower. I have a Troy built TB130 for under $300 before tax. Mine was given to me by my dad. It's about a 12 year old machine. Have never had a problem with it. It does everything I need. It mulches, it has a bag, it has side discharge, which I don't use. It doesn't even have a self-propelled or personal pace mechanism, but I have found a way to make that thing cut my Bermuda grass low and still look nice and fresh and clean. Hey, thanks for coming back to another episode of Budget Lawns. I appreciate you as always. If you find this information useful, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to take your plain Jane old boring rotary lawn mower and turn it into the piece of equipment you need to mow that grass super, super low. If you're new to lawn care, you're probably wondering, what is this thing going on with all these real mowers? I thought everybody used a rotary mower. If you don't know what a real mower is, it's one that goes around like that as opposed to a rotary mower that goes like that. And most people have rotary mowers. But if you've just gotten into lawn care, you're finding out online that real mowing is where many lawn enthusiasts have gone, myself included, for a time. But now that I'm at the new house, I haven't used a real mower once. I've only been rotary mowing and I have found out a few things that make my cut just that much better. The first one, you have to, non-negotiable here, you have to keep your blade sharp, like razor sharp, okay? A real mower gives you a much superior cut. Yes, it's like cutting the grass with scissors, super clean edges where a rotary mower won't give you quite as clean of a cut, especially if you don't keep your blade sharp. Because a rotary mower spins like this and will more like tear the grass blade. So if your mower blade is dull, it will look frayed and white on the edges. And then that's when your grass doesn't look very green at all. So keep that blade super sharp. I'm not talking about sharpen it once a season. I'm talking about sharpen it every few weeks, maybe once a month. The sharper the blade with a rotary mower, the cleaner the cut, okay? Here's another tip. Now this is gonna go against a lot of the rules that you hear about mowing. The rule stating that you should never mow your lawn in the same pattern or same direction every time. But what I have found trying to mow low with a rotary mower, especially on a very bumpy and uneven lawn, that when I try to mix the pattern up, it just messes the whole thing up. The wheels go down into ruts, go in one direction where they don't when I'm going the other direction. So to fix that, I mow my lawn in the exact same pattern every single time, down and back, down and back. And they say you're not supposed to do that because that kind of teaches the grass to grow in that direction and almost lay over. But one way to combat that is another tip, double cut it every time. Don't just mow every time in the same direction. I go down and back to bring it back up, down and back to bring it back up. And I'll vary that up slightly, but still going essentially in the same direction every time I mow. Okay, here's another one. When you're doing that, don't give the rotary mower too much grass to cut all at one time, okay? Instead of going the entire width of the deck of the lawn mower, cut that in half. I know I'm giving you some tips where you're going, oh my gosh, well, this is gonna take more time this, is, this is, just sounds crazy. Instead of using my resources at the entire width of the mowing deck, you're telling me to cut it in half? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Give it less to have to cut as it's spinning around. 
Now, that's just my personal experience showing that that has seemed to work. Okay, along with that, make sure you're mowing every three days. Don't extend that time in between mows out because there again, you're just giving too much grass for that lawnmower blade to spin through and it's having to work too hard and can't keep it as clean as you'll want it. All right, another one that I found really, really works. If you've got a rotary mower, I did a video about this. So some, oh, probably one of the first videos I ever did. This has really seemed to help big time. Raise the front wheels on your lawnmower a notch higher than the back wheels, especially if you have a mower that has bigger wheels on the back than on the front. I found that if they were set at the same number, my front wheels would tend to dip down too far into the low spots in the lawn and cause really, really bad scalp marks. So to fix that, I just raised the front wheels up a touch, kept the back wheels where I wanted them. Bada bing, bada boom, guess what? Fewer scalp marks. Now, am I telling you that doing these things is going to give you a golf course looking, almost like a real cut lawn? Absolutely not. Am I telling you it's going to keep your lawn as green as possible? Absolutely not. Am I telling you that you're not going to have any scalp marks at all? Absolutely not. I am just telling you that if you have a bumpy lawn and you keep telling yourself that you can't mow low because of that and because you don't have a real mower, that's not the case. Follow these tips and you can mow your grass lower with a rotary mower. Kind of like that. Mow your grass lower with a rotary mower. So how low am I talking about? I think right now I'm mowing because of the different levels and bumps and everything. I'm mowing anywhere from some areas around two inches, some are around one. But by keeping that pattern the same, I'm going over those bumpy spots, essentially in the same direction, and it's not causing terrible scalp marks. All of these tips and tricks, I don't know, you might try to find other videos and more evidence out there to support this. All of these tips and tricks are just from my experiences having to mow this lawn at the new house with a rotary mower, not being able to use a real mower. And I have been trying to find every way I can to get the best looking low cut lawn as possible, the old fashioned way with a rotary mower. You know, I've learned in lawn care over the years that if I have three things to choose from as far as the way I want my grass to look, I've decided that I almost have to pick two and not all three. And here lately, the two that are most important to me are few weeds, not weed free, but few weeds. I want that. I want thick. I want it to feel like carpet. And the last of those three that I'm not as concerned about anymore is color. I am not worried about having the darkest, greenest, luscious lawn out there. I just want it to be relatively weed free and thick. If rotary mowing cuts off some of the color, if I don't hit the one third rule just right and cut off some of the color or anything else that might make it not look as green as those picture perfect lawns you see all the time, that's fine with me as long as it's relatively weed free and thick because that gives my kids, my dog, me, my wife, us, the best environment to use it and not worry about messing up the color. Cause yeah, right now it needs fertilized. There's some spots that are struggling from lack of rainfall, a little bit of heat, but guess what? It's pretty much weed free and it's getting nice and thick now that the 90 degree temperatures have finally arrived. All right, those tips, I promise you, try them out. Let me know how they work out for you. I can assure you they'll at least give you some improvement. Hey, speaking of improvements, in last week's video, I showed you all about the front lawn and kind of the evolution of where we started when we moved into this new house and where we are now. Well, here's a lot of changes that have happened over the past week. We are getting so close to sod. We've done mulch work, we've done stone work. We've got more river rock work coming. I'm doing all the mulch and river rock. And then finally, we should wrap everything up tie it up, put a bow on it with sod 
coming up this next week. So if you want to know how to take care of new sod, get it established, take care of it properly, join me through the rest of this season because I'm going to show you just that. And also join me on Tuesday nights, 9 Eastern, 8 Central with Joe from Waterboy Productions. We do the Budget Water Show. Last week's episode about summer lawn care, all sorts of lawn stuff, live talk coming up every Tuesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 Central. Join us then. But until next time, that's going to do it for this ses- episode. I tried to say edition episode. Eh, that's going to do it. We'll see you next time.